I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another review question on permutation and combination. The question is, a class has 30 students. In how many ways can a committee of three people be selected from the class? Part B is, in how many ways can an executive committee of three people, president, vice president, and secretary, be selected from the class? Now, when you analyze, you find in the first part, we say, in how many ways can a committee of three people be selected from the class? Now, positions for three people are exactly same. So, in this particular case, the order does not really matter. So, in this case, we'll take combination. So, out of 30 students, we are selecting or choosing three to form the committee. So that is your answer. Now in the second place, it is in how many ways can an executive committee of three people, president, vice president, and secretary, be selected from the class? Now these are three different positions, right? Therefore, the order matters. And this is permutation case. So that is 30, P3. So this example really explains when to use permutation, when to use combination. Let us calculate the answer. So 30 C3 equals to 4060. That's the answer for the first one. And 30 P3 is equal to 24360. That is the answer for the second part, right? We can always get this from here by multiplying this by 3 factorial, right? So that is how these are related. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this set of videos is helping you to review the concepts of permutation and combination. Thank you and all the best.